My friends, welcome back to Post to Post. I appreciate you being here. If you are new, my name is Neil, and I've got some jerseys for you. Well, maybe not for you, but I've got some jerseys to show you. We're gonna continue the series on, unbox the last two from my giant 10 jersey box from Cool Hockey, all reverse retros, all hand-stitched. Last time we looked at the Pittsburgh Penguins jersey, we unboxed it. I have no idea what's next, but I have to say, I don't really like, I don't watch back my videos. I kind of cringe at myself on camera, but just looking at my screen here above the camera, dang, man, they just, they, they just nailed this Penguins jersey. It looks so good. Colorado and Edmonton. Those are the two teams left in the box. I have no idea which team is next. Oh, we got to reach the box and we'll haul it out. We'll take a close look and see these in person for the first time. All right, jersey acquired. Feeling the logo. This is definitely Colorado. Definitely Colorado. You can tell. You can just tell by the logo. Here we go. Of course it's Colorado. Circular logo, easy to tell if you're feeling. Ooh, that is, wow, that is very beveled, actually. Look at this A. I don't get too excited about fonts and, and uh, you know, names and number kits and stuff, but wow, that is unbelievable. That is one of the nicest A's I think I've seen on any jersey. I am obsessed with that. That looks amazing. Uh, pretty simple logo. I mean, there's not really much to say about the logo. It looks pretty good. I'm probably in the minority. This is one of my favorite alternate logos in the entire NHL's history. I don't know why, to be completely honest, regardless if it's colorized like this or with their traditional colors, like the burgundy you see here on the top of the collar, which I didn't know until recently, actually. I didn't know that the collar in this jersey was burgundy. Um, like their, or not burgundy, but like a whatever eggplant color they want to call it, like this. Um, I didn't know that until recently. The orange does conflict. I will definitely say that. The orange in the, in, in the NHL logo conflicts with the yellow and the red on the pinstriping in the front of these shoulders. Down below, some nice striping. Uh, looks really good. The arms, nice colorization coming down from the top of the shoulder down to the bottom of the sleeve. Looks good. Look at those numbers. You know who's on the back. Shoulder patch looks pretty good. It is thick, though. Oh, and actually, it's not as... I mean, it's thick, but it's very, it's very bendable. I was a little bit worried that this would be potentially uncomfortable to wear, but that bend's actually pretty good. I don't think that's going to be an issue wearing it. And then, of course, McKinnon on the back. Oh, snap. I just noticed something. I just noticed something very interesting. We talked about it in every video, and if you know what that is, you know where I'm going. But first, let's talk about these numbers. Holy crap, these look good. It looks as good as the A on the front. What an absolutely stellar kit, a stellar number kit here. That looks just perfect. McKinnon up there, nothing real special about this. It's angled, some teams angle it, some teams don't. Uh, I think that looks okay, I have no real, nothing to say there. But the logo, the Adidas logo, which we've seen a lot of white, we've seen a lot of silver, we've seen a lot of black, but not many teams have color matched. Minnesota color matched, Colorado has color matched. I'm not sure if you can tell. Uh, maybe not. It probably looks a little bit black on camera, but I promise you it's the same dark blue you find in the in the uh, letters here. It's the same dark blue you see, if you see in the numbers, and it's the same dark blue that you see in the top of the jersey. Different material, so it sheens a little bit differently up with the light, but it's definitely still the same shade. Um, I I, th I love this jersey. I absolutely love this jersey. It is, it is pretty much perfect. Not perfect, um, but pretty much perfect. I love the colors. I love the throwback. I love the uh, history, little story that it tells from, from their history. So big fan of this jersey. I don't think a lot of people love this jersey. I think a lot of people like this jersey. I'll put it that way. I don't think it's at the top of many people's, uh, you know, top three or anything like that. But yeah, it's, it's probably in my top five for sure. And likely in my top three as well. Stay tuned for the official ranking video coming here in a couple of weeks. I wanted to wait until I actually got all these jerseys in person so I could kind of determine determine if, if things look better in person that might sway my rankings a little bit. So that is definitely coming on the channel. I appreciate uh, all the questions about it. It's definitely coming. If you're new to the channel, please consider hitting the subscribe button. I'd appreciate that so much. So you can see the final jersey unboxing that's coming for the reverse retros here. It's going to be Edmonton. There's only one jersey left in the box. There's not going to be any surprise next video. So it's definitely going to be Edmonton, but I would love to have you on board for that. If you did enjoy this video, hit the like button. I'll talk to you guys very soon. Don't forget to let me know down below in the comment section what you think about this Colorado jersey. Have a great night. Talk to you soon. Adios. Thank <laughs> you.